A new set of bike lanes is causing controversy in Northeast Portland. Last month, Peabot repaved Northeast 33rd Avenue and claims that they were unaware that crews installed bike lanes in front of homes. But bikers point out that these new lanes have been in the works for two years. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy spoke with both sides and explains what happened. Well, these are the bike lanes here behind me along Northeast 33rd Avenue between Northeast Holman and Lombard Street. Now, these were installed on October 7th, and neighbors say they learned that their parking would be taken away that same day. Also on that day, they say the only form of the communication that they got from the city was a letter left on their property from Peabot. People living on a four-block stretch of Northeast 33rd Avenue are dealing with parking problems after they say changes were made without their input. We were surprised, to say the least. Um, these bold, vibrant, thick white lines blaring at us Sunday morning. This neighbor has lived in her house on Northeast 33rd Avenue for 30 years. The bold white lines in front of her home are a new double striped bike lane the Portland Bureau of Transportation says were mistakenly installed. She says the bike lanes were painted early in the morning and immediately took away her street parking. This had no respect. It was a slap in the face. Um, we don't care about what you have to say or what you think. The bike lanes were approved by the city council in 2021 under the Columbia Lombard Mobility Corridor Plan. However, Peabot admits that there was not proper public outreach to impacted residents along the corridor, which is required in the plan. Saying in a statement, quote, Peabot did not conduct a parking study, look at the impacts and trade-offs of the bike lane treatments or the status quo. Notice was not provided to adjacent residents and the critical step of discussing the project with neighbors was not completed. In response, Peabot was set to remove the lanes Wednesday at a cost of $25,000, but stopped the project. It's so upsetting to learn that uh, money is being sent to or being spent to remove um, safety infrastructure that's already in place. Christopher Hale joined about one dozen cyclists who protested the removal on the corner of Northeast 33rd and Holman Street. He and others say removing these lanes will only make the road more dangerous for them. As cars are getting larger and larger and wider and wider, that means that those edges of those cars are also encroaching on the old bike lanes and making it um, less and less safe. As an ER physician, I've seen what happens when a vehicle hits a you know unprotected uh, human body. He says both Peabot and neighbors had to have known these changes were coming because the city council approved the project two years ago. Putting in this bike lane and making this safer for people has been in the long-term plan. Neighbors say there's already a greenway route two blocks over from Northeast 33rd Avenue, and the bike lanes are not necessary in front of their homes. To me, it's um, the height of privilege because when you disregard people's uh, livelihoods and their feelings. She says going forward, she wants Peabot to step up communication with neighbors. Peabot needs to communicate, which they have with other neighborhoods from what I've heard. Why not us? That's another question I want answered. Why not us? What is so different about us that you couldn't communicate with us? I also asked Peabot what the next steps are and if these bike lanes will be removed. A spokesperson says that what will happen next is they will do more neighborhood outreach and go from there. In Northeast Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.